some are worried about retaliation on American soil. We're joined by former senior military officer Steve Rogers. Steve, thanks for coming in. What an important day to have you and your perspective. Uh, Jackie Ibanez had reported earlier cyber attacks in Texas. Can you quantify the threat here at home, whether it's on American soil or in, uh, on the Internet? Well, to begin with, the president should be commended for the way he has managed this crisis. Mm. That includes the potential of cyber attacks. Uh, he has brought together our national security agencies, our military and corporate America as partners in order to ensure that uh, our infrastructure, our cyber inf infrastructure here in America is protected. Uh, there's always a potential for cyber attacks. There's no doubt in my mind that uh, not only Iran, but perhaps the other nations that are not friendly to us have always looked at trying to disrupt uh, our infrastructure with regard to cyber attacks. But we've been well protected. We haven't suffered any catastrophic cyber attacks, and I don't anticipate that happening. But is it going to get worse, Steve? I mean, the Texas governor was saying it was at a rate in the past two days of 10,000 times a minute. That's how vigorously they, they tried to get in. Should businesses, should American citizens here and abroad be worried when they travel or go anywhere? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that there'll always be and there always and there has been for quite some time uh, attempts to disrupt our air travel, for example, or to disrupt any uh, communication systems in America. Uh, we're always concerned, but we cannot be paralyzed and we have not been paralyzed. And I wouldn't mm. uh, worry about it very much. We have a great, great defense system set up, and I think we'll do very well as we move forward. At the top of this segment, you said the president should be praised for his action and his decision with taking out the Iranian general and, uh, and the like. Uh, you don't really expect Democrats to give him credit, especially those running for 2020 for the presidency of the United States to give him credit today, do you? Well, you know, it's a darn shame that uh, there's a possibility of us going to war and uh, they went out of their way to criticize the president. And what they do when they criticize the president is send a clear message to the Iranian government that this country is divided. This country is not divided when it comes to military actions. The American people are standing with President Trump. And uh, I just hope the Democrats wake up and realize that they need to do more in supporting our president and our troops than uh, what appears to be supporting the Iranian regime with regard to their sympathies, which is really misdirected. Steve, you have military experience and a background. Uh, the Iran foreign minister tweeted in part, Iran took and concluded proportionate measures in self-defense. Does that suggest to you that A, Iran is done with their retaliation, and B, that that's the off-ramp for President Trump to maybe not respond, or do you expect him to respond? Well, indeed, the, the Iranian government sent a clear signal that they don't want a war, that they're done. They're done because they realize that this president is not fooling around. They're done because they realize that if they uh, uh, kill any Americans or take this a step further, that the response will be catastrophic to them. And, and again, kudos to President Trump. He knew they were going to uh, respond. He knew they had to respond. This was a face-saving response. And by the way, it was more of a message to their own people that they did something. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm sure the president is not going to uh, respond uh, aggressively. Okay, Steve Rogers, thank you very much. You know, and that's a big piece of what we're seeing in the market reaction overnight is that this lack of U.S. retaliation.